Police and neighbors are speaking out tonight after that riot that broke out at an all girls treatment facility in Owens Crossroads. News 19's Peyton Newman joins us live in the studio and Peyton, what did they have to say about this riot? Tamika Ben, the Owens Crossroads chief told me that everything came to a head last night. While six girls involved in the riot were arrested and are being charged, officials are looking internally at the issue. I said, well, how is it going now? She said, and this is, I quote from her, she said, I would not put my dogs down there in that place. The words of Diane Miller after she crossed paths with one of the girls who escaped from Pathway Incorporated Monday night. But Miller tells News 19 this is nothing new. But I do know like this place now is the third time they've been people down there. Owens Crossroads Police reports they've received 26 calls and complaints since June 1st about what happens behind closed doors at Pathway Incorporated. Psychiatric issues, suicide threats, uh, fights, assaults on staff, and um, last night around 8 o'clock, it just kind of come to a head. Meanwhile, the Alabama Department of Human Resources that pays for these treatment facilities says they are unaware of any issues. Self-proclaimed as helping the youth find a new direction, Pathway Incorporated operates as a facility to redirect troubled girls, but not for much longer. City leaders and the police department are revoking the facility's business license on October 1st, on top of more changes in the future. I've spoke with the mayor and uh, he is in agreement that, you know, as long as we're here, that they will not issue another business license for anyone to operate another facility such as that at that location. For lawyer Tommy James, who represents kids in lawsuits against these facilities. When you don't have adequate supervision and these kids are treated worse than animals in these places, it's a dangerous combination that can lead to these riots. It's a story he knows all too well, making him question the legitimacy of a place like Pathway truly closing. It used to be sequel TSI, then it became brighter path, I, and now it is Pathway. It's just what they do. They change their names, they close their doors, they reopen somewhere else. It's just what they do at this industry. Unfortunately, with these treatment facilities, when one door closes, another one opens. According to Tommy James, girls who have been placed here will be taken on October 1st from one bad facility and most likely be put in another bad facility.